Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of hair care with a roundup of the top five best hair dryers you can buy in 2024. Whether you're looking for speed, style, or sustainability, we've got you covered. But before we get started, make sure to check the link in the description below if you want to know about the price and other information. Let's get started. Starting off our list is the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Dryer. My hair is medium in texture, naturally wavy curly, and falls about 10 inches below my shoulders. So when I say the Babyliss Pro took my hair from wet and untidy to dry and styled in 20 minutes, know that it outdid itself. Before testing the dryer, I sopped up excess water from my shower with my microfiber towel for about 10 minutes until my strands were damp. I began drying on the medium heat and high power settings, circling my head and paying attention to my roots. After about three minutes, my roots felt dry to the touch and the length of my hair was semi-damp optimal for styling. I used a round brush to pull my hair taut and slipped the concentrator nozzle, something all dryers included onto the barrel to dry and straighten my hair from roots to ends. 20 minutes later, I had voluminous, straight strands that exceeded my expectations. In addition, I appreciated the tool's lighter weight 0.9 pounds and button placement, both of which contributed to its comfortability. The weight felt evenly distributed in the barrel and handle, making the blow dryer easy to maneuver with no undue stress on the wrist. The controls consisted of a cool shot button and two switches, each with three settings to toggle between off, medium, and high for airflow, as well as low, medium, and high for heat. Without looking, I could flip between settings while styling, but also never accidentally pushed the switches without meaning to. If you want a tool that dries your hair fast, this one has the power to do it. And if you're like me and also use a hair dryer to straighten your locks, you'll be impressed with Babyliss Pro. Next up, we have the Panasonic NanoE ANAS 67W. Panasonic created its NanoE hair dryer with an attachment that oscillates to give your arms some relief. While testing this dryer, Jessica evaluated this feature in addition to its regular drying abilities. The oscillating attachment presented some challenges. First, it took her several attempts to figure out how to activate the attachment. Despite reading the instructions, it turned out I was overcomplicating it. Then, the attachment caused her hair to tangle while in motion. Though you may not notice this as much if you have silkier hair, unlike Jessica's textured hair that binds together easily. It took her a total of 15 minutes to dry her hair on the low setting high felt too hot, and heat and airflow can't be controlled independently here. She chose not to style her hair with this dryer, as she wanted to test its claim of cutting down on drying time using the oscillating nozzle, but she noted that her hair looked crazy after the 15 minutes and would require a pass-through with a straightener if she wanted to wear it down. Still, she would expect that result with any of these dryers if she didn't specifically pull her hair taut and try to straighten it, so she doesn't fault the dryer. However, it didn't really help to cut her drying time down. Aside from the snags, she liked this dryer fine. It didn't wow her, but she appreciated the innovative idea that indeed kept her arm from feeling as tired throughout the drying process. All of the controls are also very intuitive, albeit less customizable, with a single switch that toggles among off, low, and high. Moving on to our third pick, the Shark Hyperair Hair Dryer. The Shark Hyperair looks like a dupe for the double the price Dyson Supersonic. It foregoes a long barrel and instead opts for a short, wide one that, like the Dyson, acts as the control center with three buttons for air and three for heat. Both sets of buttons even light up white and red, respectively, like the Dyson. This landed higher than the Dyson on our list because it felt more comfortable to hold, thanks to its better weight distribution, but she has similar criticisms for both tools. The medium heat and air settings dried her hair in 20 minutes, with the finished, do looking semi-straight but poofy. But the higher airflow, even on medium heat, was intense and whipped her hair around at times. Would she use this again? Sure but she could get her hair to look sleeker with other, more affordable options on this list. Our fourth pick is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. No hair dryer list would be complete without the super pricey Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. Its diminutive but powerful motor lives inside the Supersonic's handle instead of the head, differentiating it from the other models we've tested. 
The design lends itself to being more balanced and, in theory, more ergonomically pleasant to use. However, placing the motor inside of the handle means an ultra-light barrel that leads to an awkward weight imbalance. Most noticeable when Jessica was maneuvering it around her head to dry her roots before moving on to styling. She liked that the Supersonic's control buttons are located on the head of the dryer as opposed to in its handle, and that they light up to show which of the three heat or air settings she's using. Their placement keeps them from accidentally engaging, while the hair dryer is in use an issue that some hair dryers suffer from. Its cool mode button locks into place so that you don't have to keep squeezing it to keep it on a nice touch if you like to use the function to set your hair after styling with hot air. The Supersonic comes with two smoothing nozzles and a diffuser, all of which attach to the hair dryer magnetically in a snap. She saw poofy but fully dry results after 30 minutes of using the Dyson and a round brush a little longer than some. While the Supersonic works well enough, there are far less expensive hair dryers that you can invest in that will yield similar, if not better, results. Last but certainly not least, we have the T3 Micro T3 Fit Ionic Compact Hair Dryer. The first thing that stood out about this blow dryer was its lightweight build It's a Perfect Travel Hair Dryer. It's similar in size and shape to the Shark Hyper Air, but feels even lighter and looks sleeker with its white and gold exterior. That positive aside, its airflow isn't powerful enough to stack up with the others on this list. It gently tossed Jessica's hair around even at the highest speed, and it took her about 28 minutes to get her hair to look semi-straight. But it was still damp in some spots and puffier than she'd prefer. She tried it on medium and high heat settings and found the former sufficed, but the latter felt too hot. She'd use this again in a pinch, but it's lightweight, attractive design is the most appealing thing about it. There you have it, our top five best hair dryers in 2024. Each of these dryers has its unique features and benefits, catering to different needs and budgets. Be sure to check the links in the description below for the latest prices and availability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more reviews and recommendations. Thanks for watching.